Thomas Alive to Die presents J.M. Fields J.M. Fields was a discount department store chain based in Salem, Massachusetts founded by Philip Feldman as a discount department mill store. The original name of these stores was Enterprise Stores in the early 1900s. The chain was founded by Philip Feldman of Massachusetts and his partner Samuel Glass. The name J.M. Fields came about when his son Joseph M. Feldman decided to use a name not aligned with any political, cultural, religious, or country culture. J.M. Fields was one of many New England-based retail chains that began their existence as mill stores which sold mostly clothes and linens in their early years later adding other types of goods. The American textile industry for much of the country's existence was concentrated in the New England states. To save labor costs the industry fled to the southern states in the 1950s and 60s. In several cases the abandoned factories were then converted to giant outlet stores from which a number of well-known chains grew. The Feldman family transformed their mill operation into what would become the J.M. Fields Discount Stores. J.M. Fields was not Food Fair's first choice for a merger partner. In fact as early as 1959 Food Fair President Louis Stein expressed a strong interest in acquiring E.J. Corvette Inc. The white hot discounter who was in the midst of a meteoric rise to prominence in retail circles and was a darling of Wall Street. Stein could not come to terms with E.J. Corvette founder Eugene Furkauf so Food Fair tabled the whole idea for several years. On August 14, 1961 Food Fair closed on its purchase of Enterprise J.M. Fields Inc. A chain of approximately 50 discount stores with locations in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Virginia, South Carolina and Florida. In 1965 the home office was moved from Boston to Food Fair corporate headquarters in Philadelphia. Most of these newer stores were built around large parking lots among the first of their kind similar to today's popular shopping configurations. Most J.M. Fields stores were adjacent to Food Fair stores and the two were in fact connected making J.M. Fields the first true super center of its time. Customers could walk from the department store directly into the grocery store without having to go outside. J.M. Fields featured a mix of merchandise found in most of today's modern-day discount retailers such as housewares clothing, sporting goods electronics and lawn and garden items. Many locations had a freestanding automotive center in the parking lot. Other chains who started in this fashion were Lechmere Atlantic stores Mammoth Mart and Ann and Hope among several others. Over the next decade or so Fields prospered under Food Fair opening many new stores in FF developed shopping centers. The 1970s ultimately proved to be rough going for Food Fair whose stores would eventually go by the name Pantry Pride and the JM Fields stores were sold off ceased operations and were shuttered early in the company's 1978 bankruptcy. Many former J.M. Fields locations in the Northeast became either Kmart Jefferson Ward which later became Bradley's and Caldor stores. Kmart also took over many southern stores ending J.M. Fields from the retail landscape. It's J.M. Fields dollar sale. You'll find over 300 advertised items on sale. Look at what one dollar buys. Facial tissues, three boxes for a dollar. Westinghouse light bulb, six for a dollar. Dial soap, five bars a dollar. 32 ounce Lavoris mouthwash, one dollar. Vinyl shower curtains, a dollar. Rubbermaid cutlery tray, one dollar. Six and a half inch cast iron skillet, one dollar. Butt pan, a dollar. Decorative toss pillows, a dollar each. One and a half gallon Clorox, one dollar. 21 ounce Ajax, three for a dollar. Imported glass, soup plate, cup or saucer, three for one dollar. J.M. Fields dollar sale starts tomorrow. Don't miss it. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.